what's up everyone Nick here um I'm doing a spoiler review on Ant-Man so if you have not seen the movie do not watch this video this is a full disclaimer that this is the only time I'm saying that this is a spoiler you're watching this at your own risk all right so I watched Ant-Man last night this video is going up tonight well whenever you I guess whenever you're going to be watching this but when, but this is for the viewers who are watching this in present time. So um, I'm gonna start off with the the reference to Tales to Astonish, which is the uh, first appearance of Ant Man when Darren Cross Cross or Yellow Jacket goes says the the line Soviet propaganda and Tales to Astonish. And like I said, that's the first appearance of Ant Man when he first appeared. And next we have where um, Scott Lang was in jail. It was the San Quentin State Prison, which um, not Seagate Prison, which it was in the Marvel one shot where the Mandarin was, but um, Sangi. San Quentin State Prison is also another um, prison that another Marvel ca character goes to, and that is the Punisher or Finn Castle, and that could connect, I guess. I doubt it, though, but maybe they'll see each other, like, because Punisher, as you know, is going to be in Daredevil Season 2. Okay, next up, we have the Milgram Hotel, and that's another nod to writer, artist, and editor Al Milgram. So I think that was a nice touch. Then you got Agent Mitch Carson. And uh, some way through the movie where we, we find out. Well, we uh, we knew that uh, Hank Pym and him had some beef together. Like something was up. They did punch him. Well, Hank Pym didn't punch him in the beginning. Which is like back then. And with um, when there's this table scene. Like in like the first like two minutes of the movie with Howard Stark. Which is not the Howard Stark from Captain America: The First Avenger, and um, I'm, he's the one from Iron Man Two, not the one like Agent Carter and everything, and uh, old like uh, Agent Carter, and Agent Mitch Mitch Carson, in comics is the one who's supposed to wear the Ant Man suit for Shield, but I I guess he never did, and Agent Mitch Carson in the movie is working for Hydra. Well, he was. I don't know where it was. And then, Ten Rings are still around. We got um, a man who, like, goes to bed on some pimp tech. If you don't know who the Ten Rings are, he's a big Iron Man villain. They're the ones who captured Iron Man. Well, Tony Stark, that turned him into Iron Man and everything. So, he's the one who had a tattoo on his neck. Then we have an old and new school wasp. We have Wasp when he was with Ant-Man, well Hank Pym Ant-Man in the beginning, and she has a suit that resembles Ant-Man's, but it's red, and that could have been a nod to the old school Wasp, the Wasp costume that originally red. She had three costumes, red, blue, and yellow. The red one was the first, and then yellow is her most common one, which is going to take a resemblance on the new suit that was given to Hank Pym's daughter. I can't remember her name. The, um, so yeah, so we are getting a wasp, and also the wasp, Ant-Man's wife wasp, well Hank Pym's wife um, wasp, is, is apparently in the microverse. So, and the deal with the microverse is, there's no time, so she could still be young, and they could put any young female lead in that. And speaking of the microverse, we got to see it and everything, when... Yellow Jacket is about to uh, harm Scotland's daughter. He uses his belt. He goes to the microverse. He stops it. And then, um, well, again, I just want to put a full disclaimer because I'm, like, spoiling a lot of the movie. I'm spoiling the ending and everything. So this is a full disclaimer again. And what happens is when he goes to the microverse, like, he knows everything he's sacrificing. And what he does to get out of it is Hank Pym had given these, him these shurikens, right? And some, the red ones make them um, small, big ones make things grow. And what happens is, 
Hank, uh, not Hank Pym, Scott Lang takes one of the blue ones, his last one, puts in his belt, and he grows, which is, could also happen in Civil War, he could use that again, and he become Giant Man, hopefully that comes true, which is what me and everybody else that I was with, we all excited, we're like, oh my god, Giant Man, and that happened, but we could possibly be seeing that, because they were hinting at it a lot of times, okay, next we got his daughter, Cassie Lang, which right now she's young, but once she gets older, she's going to become a hero like her dad. It's going to grow and shrink and everything called Stature. And she's going to be part of the new Avengers, like the young Avengers. And then, what's next? We got Avengers Age of Ultron. As we see, we still are getting Age of Ultron. Still, the event is serious. So, there's going to be a hint. There's still going to be Age of Ultron, like what happened. And this happens is when... um. Hank Pym, uh, Hank Pym's talking to Scott Lang about how the the yellow jacket suit's dangerous, and Scott Lang goes, "Our first thing we do is we call the Avengers," but Hank Pym just goes, "Can't call, they can't call him because they're busy dripping, dropping cities out of the sky, as you know. In Age of Ultron, they drop Sokovia out of the sky because like Ultron's playing and everything, and then we got." Um, Hank Pym, because also Hank Pym doesn't like the Starks, because Hank, um, Howard Stark, as you can, um, Iron Man 2, Howard Stark, it tried using Hank Pym's Pym particles as weapons, the same plan as Yellow Jacket, that is why Hank Pym never said anything to, um, what, what's his name, the guy, uh, Darren Cross, and so, yeah, so that plays a part in it too, and that's another reason why he didn't want to call him. But, we do see Avengers, well, there's, we see two of them, first one is in the main movie, and then another one's in the end credit scene, we get the first one we get is the, is when, um, Hank Pym needs something from an old stock bunker, which turns out to be the new Avengers headquarters, and, um, yeah, that's where, and if you've seen the TV spots or the trailer, that's where he fights Falcon. So, yeah, he da that's where the fight goes down. And then, of course, we got our Spider-Man reference. They were hinting at Spider-Man references. They said they were going to get a lot. We didn't get a lot, but we got a major one. Where he got, when um, Falcon's looking for Ant-Man, he goes, some girl goes, well, he goes, I'm looking for somebody who could shrink. And then... He, that some lady goes, we got guys who jump, we got guys who swing, we got guys who climb walls. And um, I screamed, I swear to you, I screamed in the theater, Spider-Man. I almost got kicked out for it. I, and I screamed it. It was the, probably the biggest Marvel geek, like, um, outbreak I've ever had in my life. Because, I don't know, I started clapping. Almost the whole theater started clapping after they started laughing. And I just screamed it. And, uh, but we did not get no Oz Corp references. Because you would have thought because the technology and everything. But I don't mind it because we got Spider Man, I'm happy. We got Tom Holland, Holland come back. There is one thing I'm disappointed in. They, were, they made merchandise for this black, blackout um, Ant Man suit. We did not get no blackout Ant Man suit. There was only one Ant Man suit. So I don't know what they were planning with that. But yeah, awesome movie, go check it out. Oh, the end credit scene. There was, um, the yellow jacket, that's not, yeah, we find out, um, like I said, Wasp is gonna be back, and the first end credit scene, there was two of them, like the Avengers movie, because I guess, um, there was, this is the last movie for phase three, so I guess it's gonna be a tradition. Every movie that ends a phase is going to get two end credit scenes. First end credit scene, we see Hank Pym give his daughter the wasp suit. Where she goes, oh, I thought we were making this for my daughter, uh, for my wife. But it turns out we're making it for you, so she gets the wasp suit. Second end credit scene, Falcon and Cap find Bucky. He's, um, like his arm, his metal arm is clamped between these two things. And Cap Falcon goes, we should tell Tony. And to me, I could have been wrong. And Cap goes, we can't involve Stark, something with the attorneys. So if something with the attorneys, that's straight out of the comics. Because um, Stark goes to court and everything like that. But, 
yeah, so, and then Falcon Hints, there's, like, I know somebody who's, like, shrink something like that, because they need somebody sneaky, and so, there's definitely kept Hank Pym, I mean, Ant-Man's gonna be on Captain America's side, if that was enough, uh, Hank Pym doesn't like the Starks, so that's gonna push him even more, and, yeah, um, that's it for now, don't forget to like and subscribe, there's always more to come, peace out.